It's one of those days. I almost filmed that whole video without pressing record. I did the whole intro. It's just one of those days. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up? Today we're doing uh, what is happening in these pictures. I always feel like I can't say the F word too early in a video or the video will get like demonetized or something. So that's why I always mumble it in the beginning of these videos, just so you know. Anyway, so this is what is happening in these pictures. Number 55, let's do it. Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with this sea lion on top of a boat. Is there anyone living inside that boat? Is anyone on the boat right now? You should evacuate. Maybe this is just their pet sea lion or their pet sea lions. And you might be looking at this like, no, 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 Fluffy, that is photoshopped, but it's actually not, as far as I know. This one, I actually know a little bit about what's happening. Apparently, it's a stellar sea lion. The males can get up to 2,500 pounds. The females average about 500 pounds, so it looks like this is a male and a female. Dang, are they about to mate on that boat? Shit, they're gonna make a baby, huh? Oh, they're just having a nice little romantic getaway on a boat. They took a cruise together. Whose boat is this? Do you imagine being on a boat and a 2,000 pound sea lion just hops up on top of it like, hey, sorry, there were sharks in the water and I'm a little worried. That is two sea lions, right? Not like a giant growth on this thing's back. Yeah, no, it's two. That is insane. I never knew a sea lion could get that big. Wow. I want to ride it around the ocean, but probably not because I'd probably just drown or get eaten by some sort of animal or the sea lion itself would eat me. How to goodbye depression. If you contract anus a hundred times every day, malarkey or effective way. So this is apparently a guide that's over 200 pages long that teaches you how clenching your ass every day will help you deal with depression, will help your depression go away. I wonder if it actually works. I mean, I think it sounds ridiculous, but if I haven't tried it, then how would I know? I probably clench my ass like a hundred times a day. You know, every time I get worried, I'm just like, mm. wow. So if you have depression, you just gotta be more of a tight ass. Damn. Someone try it. I need science. I need some science facts on this. Here is a group of people watching a movie projected onto a cow. What? That was your only option? No one had like a blanket or a t-shirt? Like a white t-shirt might have been a better option? You're like, hey, there's a white cow here. Let's just project the movie Tenant on there. But hey, they made it work. They wanted to watch a movie. They had a cow and a projector and they made it work. I'm just impressed at how they've trained this cow to just sit there and allow a movie to be projected on it. Like every time the cow moves, you're like, all right, well, that's a break in the movie. Let's just take a little break here now. Just like follow the cow along with the projector. This is weird. It's very strange. Did they get through the whole movie is what I want to know. Here's someone that hit a fish with their car. How does that even happen? You were just, you got one of those boat cars you were driving under the sea, just driving in the ocean. How does this even happen? And you went all the way home with it attached to your car because it looks like you're parked like in your driveway. <laughs> well, I didn't even notice there was a fish attached to my hood. And look, the fish is tagged also. You can see a tag on the fish. Did it just jump in front of your car? Where do you live? Maybe this is very common where you live. I want to know if the tag has like a tracker in it or something, you know? Like what if this fish was being tracked? They're just like watching it swim in the ocean and then all of a sudden they're like, whoa, wait. This fish is now driving down the freeway and it went to some dude's house. Oh, dang, we were trying to study the habits of these fish. We're trying to study their migration patterns and apparently they drive down to Bill's house and that's where, oh, it's poker night at Bill's house. That's where they are today. What? How the hell did you hit a fish? I need answers. Here's a clock filled with beans because why not? Is this art? How did you get the beans in there? The clock's not gonna work anymore. The hands are gonna get stuck in all the bean goo. Ugh, gross. I don't like beans. What time is it? Is the clock half full of beans or half empty beans? <laughs> Let me say that again. Is the clock half full of beans or half empty of beans? Are you an optimist or a pessimist? Here's a woman who surprised her husband. See, it's a popsicle. Then he ate the popsicle. Oh, hooray, she's pregnant. Also, you had a little pee-pee popsicle. 
yeah, she peed on that and then you ate it. I feel like this must be set up or something, okay? You can tell that that's not a normal stick for a popsicle. Like, how far did you get into the popsicle before you realized it was a pregnancy test? Like, what a weird popsicle stick. Whoa, the popsicle's pregnant, babe. It's just like licking it clean, like does, doesn't even realize. Like, that was a good popsicle. Throws it in the trash. It's like you tricked him into getting pee in his mouth. It's what you did. Here's the devil just on a business call, casually walking down the street. Or maybe he's just a demon, I don't know. Those horns look very well attached. They look like they're literally coming out of his head. I don't know, maybe demons do exist. Maybe it is the devil. He's even got this shirt with like a hooved man with horns sitting on the moon. It's a really a way of life for him, it seems. What's in your bag? Probably a severed head. This one was posted on Reddit and it said, had a fun day fishing and drinking, which I guess kind of explains the whole picture. How did your truck end up in the water like that? And is this the only fish you caught? You just caught a little catfish? It really wasn't worth your truck going in the water, was it? This one, I didn't even see the truck at first. I was like, wow, it's a... Not a very great fish. I don't think you should be taking a picture of your fish. You should probably prioritize getting your truck out of the water. That would probably be priority number one is to save your truck. This guy was like, well, the truck's already half in the water. I might as well just start fishing. You didn't put the handbrake on, did you? Here's an old school picture of a shaving machine, later dubbed the throat cutting machine. Oh, they all look so terrified, and you should. If you're the first one testing out the shaving machine, you should be terrified. I don't know who in their right mind would volunteer for that, but it's not worth it. Especially since they're using a straight razor on that thing, damn. Haunted TV, warning, this product only displays the tormented images of the ghost trapped within it. $12.99, that sounds like a bargain. I mean, I'd pay upwards to like $20 for a haunted TV. I feel like I would buy that TV just out of curiosity. And if they get $12.99 out of me, then okay, you got me. It's not really a haunted TV. Here's someone who said they found this inside the wall of their new house. I guess they were doing some renovations and they found an old dusty jar with teeth in it. Whoever put this drywall up was in a rush. They're like, screw it. And then for weeks, they're like, where the hell are my dentures? I just feel like that would be a fun thing to do. Like when I built this office, I was debating whether I should just put something in the wall so that if we ever do sell the house and someone ends up tearing it down, they'll find some weird shit in there and then it'll be posted to Reddit. Here's a great meal if you, I don't know, want to have a heart attack in one drink. It's basically a heart attack drink. It looks like a can of noodles, some... Easy cheese, what kind of martini is this? What kind of alcohol did you put in there? Some bagel bites and bacon and not the healthiest morning shake. You know, it probably tastes pretty good to be honest. Bathroom noticed, if you are an individual that shits up, either improve your aim or clean up after yourself, thanks. Improve your aim of shitting? Who aims their shit? What do you mean shits up? Like someone who shits upward? What? You got a butthole on the wrong side? I don't understand what's happening. Someone's going into your bathroom and shitting on the walls? Hey, if you're someone who's been shitting on our walls like projectile shitting all over the place, please stop or improve your aim. That's disgusting. And we'll end with this video here of, uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what to call this. Some guy overachieving his weightlifting skills. <laughs> The grunt that comes out of that man, you know that most of his organs probably just came out of his butthole, right? That is too much weight. That's not good. That can't be good. You must have busted a hernia or something. <laughs> Shit. Impressive amount of weight, though, because if that was me, my back would have broken. And I would have been crushed under the weight of everything. And it would have been a video of me dying, not succeeding. Anyway, that's the video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.